Hi everyone, welcome to my video. I haven't made a video for about, I don't know, over two years. And this was the first video I made, the first project I made with Andrino. I wanted to make a garage door opener and with two garage doors, garage door one and garage door two. Also, I wanted to add on to when the garage door is open and when the garage door is closed. And with this project, it actually was hosted on a website. So the Andrino would be our, the web server. So you log into the 192.168, whatever the address of the Andrino is, and it will post the website. And on the website, you can actually click uh, the button for the garage door, either one or two, and it will open and close the garage door and give you the status of the garage door. Also, I had it programmed to, if the garage door is open for more than five minutes, to send me a text message to remind me that the garage door is open. It was a great project. It's the first project. The couple of downfalls was, is it was only local to your network. If you're out of the range of your network, uh, out of your LAN or out of your Wi-Fi range, you couldn't access it remotely. You couldn't access it through your cell phone, through your uh, cell service, or through another um, website. You couldn't remotely access it. So it only could be accessible in your network when you're at home. If you're not at home, you can't access it. So, and also the webs, the the server would some somehow crash, and I couldn't figure that out. I uh, I've tweaked it here and there, and I uh, I I've actually kind of overloaded it by accident, and um, I put this away uh, for about a couple of years, and I want to remake the project, but actually smaller and better. So I've uh, improvised it. So the new improvement that I've made, I've gone with this. A lot of people have gone with this and I should have gone with this in the beginning, but the other project was a beginner. So I started as a beginner and I evolved with this. It's the same thing as the bigger, bigger board, except everything is just much smaller. All the, the digital display, the digital outputs are and inputs are on the sides. Same format that actually is powers by a mini USB, which you can power it by here. It's perfect. The other one didn't. I had to find a nine volt adapter, or you could hook it up to a nine volt battery. And it was, the, everyone has these laying around, these, uh, these adapters with the cables, the USB cables. So it was much more better to go with this way. Uh, I've also included, I got rid of the, the circuit board and I'm just going to go strictly from uh, this Andrino unit to this relay. The more, the important part about this relay, it needs to be a three volt. Just remember it's a three volt. The other ones, if you find online, they're mostly five volt. So watch out for that because you don't want to go with a five volt. You can go with a five volt, but then you would have to get a five volt source. And to be more simpler, if you're going to start with a project, you already know that this Andrino actually on the side, it would say you would see it right on one of the pins. Three volt three. So I've tested it out. It's around 3.3, 3.5, 3.4 volts that it, it out, outputs. So that's great because this is a three volt simple. Two steps right there. Also, I one needed a contact, so I was gonna start just to start off. I'll use this uh, simple door contact here. Maybe I might upgrade it to uh, another contact here. Whatever contact, contact a contact. Switch is a switch. You know what I mean. Um, you can also what you need is circuit board. So. What is this? Okay, so you could improvise. You could buy the, the certain sockets for the Andrino. Those pins to sit in there. Mine, the last one's a little bit bent. If you notice. Don't worry, it still works. All right. Uh, what I've done is with this one. Uh, if you go to electronic stores with the SIM SIM chips, these or these uh, dips dips chips or anything like that you would find these 
but they work actually perfect, almost perfect with this. It's actually really snug if you squeeze it in there, but it's not as wide. So what you do is simple. Get some cutters, split them apart. There you go, fits right in. If you want to buy the other ones, they're more expensive, or you could buy this for a couple of cents, maybe 30 cents. We've done the same thing. Uh, also, I bought these things off of eBay, very cheap. Um, the These are for my um, contacts for the door, and uh, I'll show you that soon. Also, I'll be uploading the uh, source code, and I'll give you that information. So here is the Andrino plugged into the chipboard that I improvised. And it fits perfect. Perfect. Why buy the other, other units when you could just buy this? Cut it in half, put it on one side, fit it right there, and it will fit. Perfectly. So there's your hack for that one. And I'll show you when I have everything completed with the relay. Remember guys, three volts. Okay guys, so I've hooked up the um, Andrino. This Andrino here. To the relay. And I've added some contacts here for the status of the door. The door opens or closes. I'm going to supply you uh, a schematic of how this is all wired up. So basically um, D1 and D2 is for door 1 status and the status of door 2. Uh, D3 and D4 are for relay 1 and 2. So it'll be garage door 1 and garage door 2. Some people have two garage doors, I do. Uh, some people have one full garage door. All right, then you just have to, you don't need the other one. Uh, also, you could just buy one relay. I just came with two relays for two garage doors. Um, you would have, I'm using this, uh, the, the three volts goes into and out to the switch or to the contact, right? Once it's open, changes condition, it goes back in, goes to uh, a 3K, I put in a 3K resistor. Some people put in a 4.7K resistor. Didn't have one, so I had a 3K resistor. Um, and that goes to ground. The last uh, Andrino that I built, I uh, built it very similar, but I didn't use, I made a contact and I didn't put a resistor in there. And I think that's what crashed my last Andrino. Uh, I, right now I uh, used some Tupperware. I haven't made a, bought a board yet. So I'm just really excited. I try to make it, everything as small as possible. So uh, try to squeeze everything in as tightly as possible, not have a big board and to get it, uh, I'm going to have a box in there and buy a box later on and have this enclosed. All right. Um, what else could I tell you? Yeah. The same thing on this side is resistor is the same thing on that side is resistors, resistors, resistor goes to ground 3k resistor. Um, this is also, don't forget three volts. All right. Uh, I've, uh, Download the Blink app. I've also have program which I'll supply you on the bottom of this video. Uh, it will give you um, notification from Blink every 15 minutes if the garage door is still left open. It's annoying though. I'm trying to find out if there is a loop. It's looping every 15 minutes if the garage door is open. So. Uh, it keeps on annoying you every 15 minutes that the garage door is open. Maybe some of you want that annoyance. Maybe some of you don't. Don't know how to stop the looping. But so I've, I've had it set for five minutes. It's annoying. So I've cranked it up for, for 15. 
Um, so hopefully no one has their garage door open longer than 15. If so, I don't know. Maybe there's a workaround for that. I haven't just, uh, looked into that yet. So um, there's a notification also on the Blink app. If this unit powers off within two minutes, it loses power. It'll send you a notification. And again, like I said, um, if the door is left open for 15 minutes, then it'll send you a Blink notification on your phone, app, or tablet, whatever you have. All right, let's uh, get this connected up and let's see if it works. Okay, so I've installed the Andrino to the garage door opener and to the other garage door opener. And uh, let's see how it goes. I mean, if you unplug it, it will send a notification to, to have it. Batteries are going to die on this one. Okay, so we have the garage door opener, and the two dots state that the garage door is closed. And there you go, the garage door is open and the LED light signifier uh, is off. I haven't put the contact, status contact on the other garage door, but I've hooked it up to the motor. 